Hey there everybody, Nathan Nelson here. Now, have you ever had one of those shoots where literally every press of the shutter just felt like you were creating gold? Well, that's exactly what happened with me on this recent shoot with Leticia where we created images that looked exactly like this. And then I created another set that looked exactly like this. And I'm gonna take you guys behind the scenes and show you how I created both of them. But before we get into that, I just wanted to touch real quick. I'm actually having an in-person lighting workshop on August 20th, 2022. I'll have the whole details down in the description below. You can check that out if you're interested. But with that, let's just buckle up and get into it. All right, so let's start this off with an overall look at the set and I will walk you through the gear that I'm using. Now on the left, I have my key light, which is an 8600 Pro with a 90 centimeter deep Octabox. To the right, I have a foldable V-flat from V-flat World that's opening up the shadows a little bit on the model's left side. Now as an overall fill, I have my 12 by 12 shoot through scrim and behind that I have two 8600 Pro heads with medium deep umbrellas attached. The backdrop is called Bone and it's by Savage Backdrops. I'm gonna to talk to you guys a little bit more about that a little bit later in the video. Now my camera is the Nikon Z6 II with the 85 millimeter 1.8 Z lens attached. And as always, I'm tethered into Capture One Pro. Now, if we start with the positioning of the key light, you can see here that I have it about five feet away from the model so that I can get a good coverage over her entire body while still keeping the shaping characteristics of the light. It's also slightly higher and angled down so that we get that really nice kind of cross lighting that's creating those really beautiful shadows that come across the model's face and body just to create that shape. Now this light is metered to f8 at 1 200th of a second at ISO 100. Now this means that my camera will also need to be set to f8 at 1 200th of a second at ISO 100 in order to get that proper exposure. The two 8600 Pros that are positioned behind the 12 by 12 scrim are also positioned up higher and angled down to follow that same directional light of the key light. Now these lights are metered to f5.6 at 1 200th of a second at ISO 100, putting them one stop below my key light, which is helping to fill in the scene while allowing me to keep the shape of that main light. Now finally, I have a V-flat from V-flat world with the white side out just bouncing a little bit of light back in just to soften up those shadows a touch. And when you put it all together, this is what it looks like. I guess that uh, I guess that means that we're breaking into the black and white portion of this video. So with that, let's jump back into the studio. I'm going to show you guys just a little bit of detail changes that we made in order to create this second set of images. Now, nothing's changed in terms of the lighting, just the styling. We ditched the tank top and the shoes to simplify things as I love simple styling when it comes to my black and white work. And then I brought in a stool just as a bit of a prop, give her something to sit on, something to position, just to make the photos a little bit more interesting. Now from this angle, you can see the positioning of the V-flat and that I always place my V-flats to catch the light from the main light. I never put my model in between the V-flat and the light. I always have the V-flat out just a little bit so that that light can come across, hit the V-flat and bounce back in so you get that proper bounce. If you take that V-flat and you slide it behind your model, well now that light is trying to essentially pass through your subject and you're not getting that proper kickback. So always take your V-flats, whatever you're using for bounce, move it ahead slightly so that light can catch it and bounce back in and that's how you'll get the best results. Now this is also the first time that I've used this 90 centimeter deep Okta from iFootage and I am completely in love with the quality of light that this thing produces. Now I know longtime viewers of this channel, you're used to seeing me use the Profoto large deep umbrella with the diffusion panel attached, but this thing, I don't know, it's kind of game changing. I just, I love the way it highlights everything. I love the quality of light that comes out of it. I feel like this might change everything. Now in regards to the backdrop, as I said before, this color is called bone and I love it when shooting in color because I can grade the images to have this beautiful warm tone to them. But if I decide to switch to black and white, the backdrop creates this perfect light gray that just works so well for so many styles of lighting. 
So with that said, let's show you a few more images from this black and white set. And so with that, that wraps up another behind the scenes look at how I create the images that I create. Now, like I said at the beginning of this video, I am having an in-person lighting workshop. If you are interested in attending that, there will be information down in the description below. With that being said, I appreciate you guys being here. Thank you so much for tuning in and I will talk to you again very, very soon. Cheers.